I'm Rob and today we're at the Pure Foy Arms in Preston Candover. So the Pure Foy is a grade 2 19th century listed pub and it's Chef Gordon Stott won the uh, Chef of the Year in the 2021 British Pubs Award. We start our walk walking back down in the Orsford direction on the main road. So at the old vicarage we turn right. I'm just going to pop through this gate and have a look at the old church. This is St Mary the Virgin Church. In fact, it's just the chancel, it's all that remains. It's, uh, it's a grade two listed church. It was built in 1190. And there's the priest's door that's been bricked up. Uh, it closed for worship in uh, 1885. And there was uh, a fire in the 17th century, which uh, destroyed a lot of it. Um, this bit remains, the chancel remains, because it was used as a, a mortuary for the village for a time. It's now looked after by the Church's Conservation Trust. Oh, look at the painting on the wall. Coffin bearing trolley. So we we'll leave the old St Mary the Virgin Church alone and we'll follow this beaten footpath through the graveyard to take us back onto the road. And look out at the top of the hill for this oak. The track carries on, but we're taking the footpath off to the left, which then skirts this field along the hedgerow. So we've got acres and acres of barley growing in this field. Always like this time of year when the crops are coming up. So all around these fields we've got these signs and what that basically means is uh, imagine the fields for wildlife so they're, they're leaving wild patches for flowers, wild flowers and native species just to grow up um, for the benefit of wildlife. There are yew trees bordering this track all the way along which shows it's an ancient track. And this one's very healthy, look at all the, the bright green new growth on it. 
you come to a T-junction of paths and you take the smaller path through the bushes, it's a restricted byway. Nice tree house for the kids. I thought we might be able to see Chilton Manor, but you can't without going on the private land. Um, it was built in 1937, so quite a modern manor house. We carry on down the track, soon to see something very special indeed. Ah, oh, there we are, there's a view through the trees, Chilton Manor. Ah, so we come across a telephone box. Always interesting to see what's in them, but interesting. This one has nothing in it. No telephone, no lending library, no tourist information, no defibrillator, just stinging nettles. But it looks nice. We merge out onto the main Basing Stoke to Alsford Road in Chilton Candover. Uh, now our route takes us right at this point but we're going to head left because I'm looking for the Church of St Nicholas. So I'll have a see if we can find it. Yeah, so I've just checked with a local chap and uh, St Nicholas is a couple of hundred yards up here. That's not marked on the, the route map of the walk, so you have to remember it from the video. Um, when we've seen it, we'll turn around, come back and carry on on the the route. We've walked back up the road and at Moon Roast, or Chilton Manor Farmhouse, there's a drive that leads up and we're going to take a look at St Nicholas Church. We've got Moon Roast up there, they've got a very good reputation for coffee and cafe type things. But we're looking for the buried church of St Nicholas. We go this way. So all the uneven ground here, it's uh, it's the old village, which is now gone, albeit the church. And uh, it's recorded that in 1562, one of the landowners, John Fisher, is the man responsible for the depopulation of the village for whatever reason. Anyway, let's have a look into the churchyard. This is the foundations of St Nicholas Church. It's a 12th century church and it was demolished in 1878 and then it, it disappeared and was only excavated again in 1927. The Manor of Chilland was bought in 1818 by Lord Ashburton. Uh, his name's Alexander Baring and he was the founder of Baring's Bank. Anyway, let's see why it's called the Buried Church. Oh well, so we've got the crypt left under the church and it's open so let's take a look in. Oh my goodness me, stone coffin covers. Medieval stone coffin. Wow. Of course, this would have been under the church, obviously, being the crypt. Let's have a look in here. Lots of visitors, lots of people go to the mm -hmm. coffee place and then come in and take a look. A small font down there. Place. Anyway, now we found it. Had a good look round. We'll make our exit and get back on route. It was well worth the looking for. It is uh, 
fairly difficult to find. There's no sign from the road, but if you follow, as I say, the sign to Moon Roast or Chilton Farm, then um, you'll find it. As I say, it lay undiscovered until 1927. Uh, ancient church was discovered and excavated by the rector, the Reverend Canon Edward Goff in 1927. On information provided by Mr. William Spires. Back at the end of the drive to Moon Roast, we're going to turn right to go back the way we came. Wouldn't you love a driveway like that? Back at Dundridge Lane that we came out of earlier, from the old Ox Drove. We're going to turn right and then we're going to turn left at that lane you can see on the bend. And there is a bus stop here for those that like to use public transport. Give you a quick glimpse of the timetable. Horsford to Basingstoke. So as I say, we turn left off the main road into this lane. Flying in formation there. After a long straight chug up the hill and a slight bend, we come across the Ox Drove path which crosses the lane and we're taking it left to head across Chilton Down shortly and head back towards Preston Candover from Chilton Candover. And we're going to see if we can find the parish pump. So we cross over this lane and we turn right to follow the path down here on the way of the finger post. Interestingly, I think we should find out what is at the head of that long drive. We'll see. Remember that long drive that came off the road and we said, you know, what on earth lies at the top of that? Well, we're up on Chilton Down now. And the answer is this little manor house here. And uh, some sort of stone megaliths over there as well. I'm pretty sure they were positioned rather than ancient structures. <laughs> Looks like an old millstone. Anyway, back on route and walk down the front of the house. Well, our path continues straight on in front of the house. Drove, making the most of the glimpses of open countryside we can get between the, the hedges. Oh, lovely buttercups. Looks like a field of linseed over there. And the cow parsley as we carry on up the track. Just had to wind our way past the Discovery, Land Rover Discovery, doing some off-roading. Bit tight. Okay, trip down memory lane again, when we were kids, dandelion clocks. Let's do a scientific experiment, see if they work. So the idea is, you pick one, and you blow it, and then the number of blows it takes is the time. So we'll have a go. Ready? Filming? Indeed. Good. Hey, two blows. What's the time? Eight minutes to two. Oh, look at the accuracy <laughs> of that. Not just a childish myth. <laughs> We're coming out the end of that long hedge track. The road goes to the right. The ox drove goes straight on. But we go to the left which heads back past Down Farm in the Preston Candover. Oh, that hanging down. <laughs> Bobbing for apples, ball or something hanging off there. I don't know what it is. Anyway, we continue along the road past Down Farm. 
is there. Nice old Lamb Rover County there. <laughs> so where's the recreation ground then? Looks like Stalag Luft 9. <laughs> pretty much back in the village. So we've made a couple of friends. <laughs> Onward. Here we are back at the church opposite the pub. It's St Mary the Virgin. It's Grade 2 listed. It's from 1884 and it's in the old English style. And this replaces the old St Mary's Church that we saw that, you remember it was just a nave just over the road. Much grander affair with its tall spire. That's a shame the current church is locked on a Sunday afternoon so we can't see inside. But we have seen the two deserted churches, the old St Mary's and the buried church of St Nicholas. Now it's time to look for the parish pump and head off to the pub. And I think I spotted the parish pump. I'll go have a look. So back out onto the road. And there she is, the parish pump. I wonder if it works. Oh, well that was bad timing on my part. I've been in conversation with Daisy from the pub and uh, he said, yeah, park your car here, come on in, I'll find out some bits and pieces about the pub. And then I neglect <laughs> to see that it's not open on Sunday. Oh, woe is me. Hey ho, have a look through the window. There you go. Where are we going to get our drink? Oh, goodness me. Right, well, I suppose we'd better uh, head off. So there we go, that was a nice walk. Plenty of interesting things to see with a buried church and uh, the mysterious long drive and what was up the top of it. And, it. and the parish pump, of course, which we found in the end, which we found welded to the post, so you can't even get any water out of it, but never mind. But it was about seven, seven and a half miles, despite the Ordnance Survey app making out it's about six. Um, but I would go for about seven miles. Uh, anyway, I'd love to have gone in the pub, but it's closed, as I said, bad planning. But if you like this walk, then please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Shut up. Looks like an old will. Looks like an old will from a mill. <laughs> yeah. Phil. Hey Phil, it's a mill. It's a mill will. An old hey, will from a hey, mill. Hey Phil, get Phil. There's a will from a mill. <laughs> right now, shush. Right. Looks like an old millstone. Oh, millstone. That's it. <laughs>